Hey everybody, what's going on? Today, I'm going to be talking about Andrew Luck and his injury and everything. I tried to make a video on my laptop just now, but you know how that go, man. Freaking Windows 8, well, you know, freaking Windows has to update. So, they said your computer would cut off in 15 minutes. But it's going to take about 30 minutes to upload the video I just made. So, sorry about that. This video won't be exactly the same, but I'll try to make it exactly the same. And this is just, I hate freaking Windows. <laughs> they always got to update, man. Somebody, they just fix it just, man, give me one update a year or something, man. Just not the dog. Every, every, every time I turn around, up. Oh, you need an update. You need an update, bro. <laughs> bro. Bruh, talking about, oh, you need an update. Yeah, your system will restart in a couple of minutes, so. Okay, enough about that rant about updating, bruh. Now we're going to talk about Andrew Luck, bruh. He has a high ankle sprain, and he has a, you know, his calf been bothering him, man. It's just. A lot of stuff is just bothering him right now, man. It's just his left leg. They got to they gotta get it right, man. Which that's what I'm really sitting up here hoping that they do get it right. His left leg or whatnot, man. It's, it's, it's going to be something. But I was just saying, like, man, we're we going to really need Andrew Luck, man, come week one because... Charges. We ain't beating the Charges without Andrew Luck, man. We not. We we might well go in and kill that motion. I know. Uh, what's his name? Melvin Gordon. I know he he might not. He might play. You know what? I'm really not too much con concerned with him playing or not. Cause how I feel at the end of the day, you still got to get the job done, regardless of who's out there, regardless of who's not out there. You still have to get the job done. So. I don't care if he's playing or not. I don't. I how when people. Oh man, oh boy, not playing. Okay, <laughs> okay. You still have to beat the competition that's in front of you, and don't you know, take for granted, regardless. So, yeah, yeah. We definitely don't need him. And then, man, it's just <sighs> a lot of stuff to just. Going on, man. I know they said today. Well, on another note, on the side note, Paris Campbell, his hamstring been acting up too. Man, his hamstring been acting up, man. I, I don't know, man. I hope Paris Campbell they can stretch his leg out or something. They get him ready for the season, cause man, we're gonna need all hands on deck. Like I say, if we want to, you know, get to where the point we we really need to be. Bro, we're gonna need all hands on deck. We know we need and <laughs> we're gonna need I don't know why I just done that. We're gonna need Andrew Luck. We're gonna definitely need T Y bro offensive line. We need all our pieces right now to be healthy and ready to go, bro. If we really wanna do the things that we want to do this season, so but I'm about to say next Next, I will probably want to go on and talk about is, you know, oh, just more about Andrew. Just, man, I just hope he gets, you know, back right and everything. Because I kind of hate how everybody wants to paint the narrative on Andrew Luck. Oh, he's injury prone. Oh, he's injury prone. I, I just, man, I just hate all this stuff, bro. I just, it's just the only thing that just breaks me up. And I'm like, bro, you can't control injuries. It's not like you can just say, hey, you know what, man, leg, you hurt and stop hurting. Bam. It's just stop hurting. Like, bro, you can't control that. And that is something that people do, but we are. I repeat, we don't need Andrew, bro. We need Andrew Luck for every game of this season, bro. First, the, the first sixteen and the last three to four games, if if you know, if we can make it to that point. So I'm just saying, we're gonna need him, and bro, it's just something that just 
which I know a lot of people say, but, bro, it'll just validate Andrew Luck's career if he can win a ring, bro. Which I know I'm still talking about T.Y. Hill, and you know he'll get his validation. But, you know, and the whole team will get their validation. Chris Ballard, he would, if if he can do that. So, you telling me a team just went 4-12 and 12 not too long ago. They come back and go 10-6, and six, and then they go and win the Super Bowl. Which, I'm not... I'm just saying, you know how good that'll be? He rebuilt it. Chris Ballard rebuilt the team in three years. Look at the Cleveland Browns, bro. Look how long it took them to be decent. So, I'm just saying, bro. Look at a lot of teams, how long it took them to average, to actually be different, bro. Actually be decent. So, it's just crazy to think about that, man. But, I'm just hoping that, you know, Everything works out. But, yeah, that's just really all I am just really want to say and talk about, man, because I, I just hate how people dog Andrew Luck, bro. It just, it just really hurts me. And, like, especially people on TV, it's a lot of people like Skip Bayless. He just really jumps all over Andrew Luck. Max Kellerman now, he jumps all over Andrew Luck, but... Most people, the rest of the people, they already know, bro. Andrew Luck, what kind of player he is. I mean, just think about it, bro. This dude has been through so much, but you didn't nail time here, Andrew Luck, say, oh, man, I got a terrible offensive line those first those first four or five years. He'd never come out and say, oh, man, my offensive line suck. I ain't got no, I ain't got nobody to T.Y. him to throw to. I ain't got no running game to speak of. I ain't got nothing here, man. It's just a blank, <laughs> blank slater, man. I ain't got no defense. I ain't got nothing. He now time said that he now time talked about Chuck Pagano coaching, even though Chuck Pagano used to call out Andrew Luck all the time. Oh, twerk, got a flavor, twerk, got a flavor. I'm like, bro. And then Ryan Gritson, he blamed Andrew Luck contract on why he couldn't build a team around him. So, bro, it was just pretty much seemed like. Both of them, all they wanted to do was just blame Andrew Luck for everything, which Andrew Luck, he takes the blame all the time, which if people really don't give Andrew Luck the credit he deserves, in my opinion, he is a top five quarterback in the league, bro. Every year he goes and he step on that field, bro, he proves it time and time again, even though people... I always want to just say stuff about, oh, he is, they said he was supposed to be the next John Elway. Oh, they said he was going to be better than Peyton Manning, bro. People don't look at it. You don't have to go. And people just, they just want a quarterback just because he come out and he number one. They want him to be perfect. They want him to come out, win every ring, win every championship and everything else. Bro, it's, it's not that easy. Football is a team sport, bro. You can... You can be the greatest, you can be the best quarterback in the league and still not even win a ring, bro. It, it's not about, well, you have to be there to lead the team and get them in better positions. But, bro, if you don't have a team, you can't do anything. That just point blank period, bro. Imagine, which I don't want to say this because it take away from some people be kind of like, what, what, what? But, bro, imagine if Tom Brady didn't have Robert, I mean, Bill Belichick. And imagine if Bill, well, I think Bill Belichick, I think he could still win. with. He would definitely would have won with Aaron Rodgers, Andrew Luck, Russell Wilson. Players like that, you know, the best quarterbacks in the league, he definitely would have won with them. But I don't know if he could have took maybe like a mid-level quarterback and won, which, okay. I would get that to him, but I get that to Tom Brady too. But bro, you need people. It's it's nobody can just come in football and say, "Oh, I'm finna do this on my own." Nobody, nobody. You need at least base level players or something like that. You just need base role players. But some people do need more than just base level. They need great players, which you know it's understandable. Just as long as you need them people that can just go out there, do their job, get on the field, do what they gotta do. Yeah, all right, then. Everybody, like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm out.